hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to create a github repository and how to work with different JIT commands as a starting video in this video we will create a new repository so currently in the screen we have, you can see we have logged into our github account that is audio mate so first of all if you don't have any JIT, a github account you can just uh, sign up to the github using your email id so in this as a starting to this video we will just create a github repository and we will show you how to clone that repository into a local instance so the purpose of this video is that actually one of our followers is already asked us how to publish the module into the Odoo app store so for that purpose we need a github account or a bitbucket or a gitlab so as a commonly used uh, thing that is github we sh will show you how to publish a module into the Odoo app store in the later coming videos so in this video we will see how we can create a new github repository and how to clone that repository into a local instance so first of all you have to log into the github so currently you can see we are logged into our account that is Odoo mates and in the screen you can see we have got three repositories that is Odoo Mates Odoo Apps which is a public repository where we are published all our free modules so here you can see we have got accounting PDF reports on account assets account accounting and all these modules you can find in the Odoo App Store and here you can see we have got different branches like 13, 10, 11 and 12 so this is a private repository so here you can see if I open and here somewhere you can see it's a private repository and this can be seen to anyone so right now if you check in check this URL that is github.com or domain slash audio apps it will be visible for you and you are able to clone or download these modules so it is a public repository which can be accessed by anyone so there are two types of repository that is one is private and another is public so here you comes next repository you can see a lock sign so this is a private repository in the pop-up you can see automate slash paid apps and it is a private repository so the private repository is that the repository will be only visible for those who having access to that repository so right now as I am logged into my account I can access and if I need to some another one to access the repository so here we have got different branches so you can if you need to share uh, some of your collaborators like that or some persons you can just share the access to the repository so here you can see manage access and this repository will be visible only for those people who are accessible so currently you can see Odoo online is a collaborator for this repository because for publishing paid apps to the Odoo app store we must grant access for Odoo online user to access this repository for publishing the module into the Odoo app store so what we have to understand is there are two types of repository that is one is public and another one is private so public repository can be accessed by anyone and paid uh, private repository will be only accessible by the user and the collaborators so that's it uh, regarding the different types of repositories so if I go here you can see we have got total three repositories now we will start with a new repository so for creating a new repository you can see the option you have to just sign into the github account and if you click on new create a new repository so here you can see the owner is Odoo mates and you have to give a repository name so i'll give the repository name as Odoo dev okay you can see Odoo dev is available so you can just check for the availability of names and you have to give a description for the repository so Odoo JIT tutorials or JIT tutorials so I'll give a name like this JIT tutorials and you can choose whether it is a public repository or a private repository so anyone can see so here you can see public anyone can see the repository who choose who can commit private you can choose who can see and commit to the repository so right now I'll create a public repository so we can explain more features like uh, creating a merge rec pull request etc so I'll just uh, choose it as a public repository and we have to click this initialize a repository with readme md so if this is not ticked we will be asked to create it manually so just uh, for a better understanding or better uh, flow we will just tick this field that is initialize the repository with a readme so we have filled the details that is owner is if you need to change owner you can just change it so right now I am the owner only one user 
and uh, the repository name is given as Odu Dev and a description is given optional it's not mandatory you can see it's optional and you have got different types that is private as well as public so I'll go with public repository and I will initialize the repository name and add jitignore none if you need to add some jitignore like something you can just choose it from here and license none and I'll click on create repository so you have to wait for a minute for the repository to get created so you can see we have successfully created the repository that is Odoo Mates Odoo Dev and here you can see defaultly we have got the master branch so we have successfully created a github repository that is you can see the url is github.com Odoo Mates slash Odoo Dev so if you need to create a different branches like Odoo 10, 13, 11, 12 you can just simply click here and you have to enter the branch name so if I enter something 10.0 you can see create branch 10.0 from master so we are continuing our development in the od 12 so i'll create a new branch called 12.0 so we can just pub add the om hospital module to this repository so you can see as i have entered 12.0 there is no matching branches so it is suggesting us to create a branch from master create branch 12.0 from master so i'll just click on create branch so a new branch with name 12.0 will get created so if i check here you can see we have got two branch that is 12.0 and master so we have successfully created a branch now let's see how we can clone this repository or this branch into our local instance so here you can see you have got an option called clone or download and you can use this link to clone the url so first of all to clone this repository i'll go to my local files and I'm just going to clone the folder that is clone the repository to this folder that is to the home slash documents so first of all you have to open the terminal so I'll just open the terminal here and I have to clone the repository so the for cloning the repository you have got the command here so git clone so I'll just copy on uh, this command control C copy and I will paste it inside the terminal control shift V now we have to specify the branch name sorry let me remove this fully and i'll just paste it once more so this is a syntax of for cloning the jit first of all make sure that a jit is installed your system so you can install it with apt get install jit so make sure that jit is installed in your system and you have to do jit clone single branch you have to give this branch and to underscore branch you have to specify the branch name that is I'm going to clone the branch 12.0 and you have to specify the URL of the repository so you can just get the repository URL from here so I'll just copy or you can just copy from here so this is copy I think yeah I'll copy it from here it's opening in a private window so I'll just copy the URL and I'll paste it inside the terminal so I'm going to clone the, uh, this repository and if you need to specify a name for the uh, repository or a folder to which this has to be cloned so right now I'm going to clone into this folder so suppose I need to specify a Odoo JIT tutorial this folder will get created and the files will be cloned inside this folder so here you can see a Odoo JIT tutorials is created here and you can see cloning into Odoo JIT tutorials enumerating objects 3 done counting object like that JIT cloning is completed. You can see a new folder ODG tutorials is created with readme.md. So let us move to CD. CD is the command to move to file CD Odoo G tutorials. So we are successfully cloned the branch. JIT checkout. Let me see. JIT checkout minus B 12.0 okay it's already done so right now i'm in the branch 12.0 so there is no need to check out the branch so right now we are in the branch 12.0 now we have to set uh, the username and user email for the jit uh, local instance jit config username i'll give the username as Odo mates and you have to configure user email jit config user email automates at gmail.com so we have successfully configured JIT username and user email so if you need to see the entered email you can just type JIT config user email if you click on enter you can see the configured email is automates at gmail.com and if you 
want to see the configured username you have to click JIT config username so if you enter JIT config username you can see the corresponding username that is odomates so what we have done we have cloned the repository successfully and we have configured the email and username so what we have to do next we have to place some modules in it and let's see how we can push it into the Odoo, into the github repository so i'll go to the home folder and then to the oru and if i go to the new sorry not the new if i go to oru 12 and to the custom where is OM hospital yes we have got the OM hospital module here i'll copy these and i'll come back to the documents and into the oru g tutorials and i will paste it here and what i will do is that i'll just search for py cache as I didn't add the JIT ignore, I will just manually remove the cache from the files. So that's removed. So what we are going to do is that right now we have cloned the repository that is OdoG tutorials and we added our module that is OM hospital module into the repository. Now let's push that this module into the GitHub account. So if I enter JIT status, JIT status, you can see your branch is told to update with origin 12.0 use JIT add so we can see a new file has been added that is OM hospital now we have to add JIT add minus a okay then we have to give a commit message JIT commit minus m add initial commit o4 OM hospital I'll give a commit message so if you type JIT status you will see the difference that is uh, the difference from the last commit so right now what we have changed is we have added a new folder that is OM hospital that's done by JIT, JIT status then you have to enter JIT add minus a to add it to the commit then you have to enter JIT commit minus m and you have to specify a commit message so I have given the commit message as add initial commit for OM hospital then I will click on enter so you can see the files then you have to enter JIT push. JIT push. You can see username. You have to enter the username for the corresponding repository that is Odomates. And I have to enter the password of my account. So once I enter the password, you can see writing into the repository. So let's wait until the operation is completed. So it has been done. Now if I go to the UI, and here you can see less than a minute ago so let me refresh the screen and see what happens so here you can see the OM hospital module has been got added into this repository and if I go to the commits here you can see this is the initial commit that we have created from the UI itself that is creating the repository and the next commit is initial commit for OM hospital module so the OM hospital module has been got added into this account so here you can see the developed files has been added so this is how you can uh, create a github repository and how th this is how you can clone the repository and add a module into the repository so if you have any queries regarding this video you can just come it out or reach us over the email that is odomates gmail.com or you can just connect us over the social medias so if you have any queries uh, i'll just explain once more so what we have done so far in this video is we have created a repository so we have created a github account just log into the account and you have to create a repository then you have to clone that repository so for cloning that repository what you have to do is that JIT clone double under hyphen single branch and using hyphen hyphen branch you have to specify the branch name and you have to give the URL for the corresponding repository so once done the repository will get cloned into the system then you have to add some files or you can just make some changes uh, and you can add some files into it and then you have to commit that files so for committing first you have to enter JIT status so once you enter JIT status you will see the difference changes made after from the last commits then you have to add JIT add minus a it will add the JIT uh, files to the commit then JIT commit minus m you have to give a commit message so this commit message will be seen here so if I come here you can see add initial commit for OM hospital which I have given here in the JIT commit minus m the commit message once you committed you have to just enter JIT push and enter the username and password for your GitHub account then the module the files will be committed and added into the GitHub account so that's all about this video if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the upcoming videos that's it. Thank you.